There is turbulence in Indian skies again as another airline is trapped for cash. Go first. It's a budget carrier. Earlier it was known as Go Air. This airline has filed for bankruptcy. Go first has decided to file for bankruptcy. The airline has. ये दोनों कंपनियां जमीन पर आने के कगार पर हैं. इनमें से एक है Go first, जो कि वाडिया ग्रुप की पहली कंपनी है, जो दिवालिया हो रही है. Is witnessing a churn. So this got me thinking. Why do so many airline companies fail? Right now we have about 11 active airlines. But since the year 2000, about 13 airlines have shut down. Even when we hear about amazing growth in the aviation sector and experience it ourselves, but still airline companies keep failing. The newest to join the group is Go First, which declared bankruptcy because they were not able to operate more than half of their entire fleet, joining the likes of Kingfisher, Jet Airways and Air Sahara. all of which were at one point of time the poster child of indian aviation even the ones which are active aren't doing much good air india has been losing money constantly at the expense of the government spicejet is facing its own set of troubles and yes covid has had an effect i am not denying that but the state of the airlines wasn't that great even before covid the only airline despite making losses since covid but is in a position of strength is indigo which at this point has more than 55% of the total passenger air travel market share all this paints a very bleak picture about the state of various airlines but when you look at the sector as a whole you would come out with a very positive outlook india now has about 140 airports up from 70 just a decade back and is expected to increase to 220 over the next 3 years whereas india had about 400 aircrafts in 2014 it currently has more than 700 and about 100 more which are going to join this year just recently air india purchased 470 planes for the tune of 40 billion dollars it's not just an indian problem overall in the world airline companies have always struggled to maintain profitability so let's try to understand why do airline companies face so much problem and why is it even more harder for indian airlines let's start by looking at the cost of starting and operating an airline let's take indigo for example which is the biggest airline in india The biggest upfront cost any airline pays for is either the purchase or leasing of planes. In 2005, Indigo placed a six billion dollar order for 100 Airbus 320, which, like most companies, it serviced through debt and equity. Other airlines can even choose to lease their own planes or buy second-hand planes to cut down on their cost. But everything considered, to the least, it would cost around 500 to 600 crores to get leasing and all of it set up. Then the cost of having a facility, training area, and maintenance of the aircrafts over the five-year period from 2015 to 2020, Indigo's total capital expenditure on property, plant, and equipment have averaged around 400 million dollars per year. As a side note this is a major problem that the whole industry suffers from because there are so limited suppliers getting proper maintenance becomes a problem this is one of the major reason go first has attributed for their bankruptcy then you also need regulatory approval and licenses to operate an airline indigo and other airlines also have to comply with other regulation such as obtaining landing rights and negotiating air traffic control agreement which can involve significant costs and finally indigo had to hire a team of pilots cabin crew maintenance crew administrative crew with personal cost accounting for approximately 15% of the airline's operating expense then comes insurance cost reservation and booking cost as typically airlines pay a percentage fee to booking sites and agents for their service by far the biggest cost to airline comes in form of fuel and labor costs fuel cost in india can be anywhere between 35 to 40% and labor cost can be anywhere from 8 to 15% some of the worst times for an airline have been when oil prices have spiked up Airlines can prepare for slowly rising oil prices by charging more for tickets or by reducing the amount of flights but sudden moves lead to them losing money since about 2/3 of the operating expenses are fixed the marginal cost of taking any extra passengers are very small this leads to overbooking and highly discounted seats as a money losing fare is better than no fare at all this in itself is not a problem there are a lot of capital intensive businesses that make a lot of money but all of them have one thing in common some form of repeat consumer behavior which means they need to acquire the customer only once but airlines don't have that a customer can choose to fly in one airline today and fly out in another one tomorrow and airlines cannot do anything about it which means they have to constantly compete to get the same customer again and again but don't airlines worldwide face the same problem so why are indian airlines worse off companies in the us try solving the problem of repeat behavior 
by having a loyalty program but that hasn't worked out really well in india because of the price sensitive nature of the flyer 39 paisa that's the loss indigo makes every kilometer per passenger even though it is the biggest airline in the country india is very price sensitive or price conscious market where as soon as air fares increase the number of people choosing to fly start to decrease when fares increase people either choose to postpone their plans or take any other mode of transport which has historically kept prices low as airlines don't want to lose out on market share to any of the other competitors and reduction in flyers also affects their occupancy rate which makes them lose money then the factors such as high fuel prices and rupee to dollar depreciation makes it even more challenging with regards to fuel price if you look at us where the fuel cost only represents about 12 to 15% of their operating expense in india on the other hand it is about 35 to 40% briefly because we import most of our fuel and heavily tax it as well on both national and state side if you look at indigo aircraft fuel expense increased by 153% against only a 55% increase in capacity and when the price of rupee falls it costs them even more to pay for those planes as all of them are marked in dollar and finally the involvement of government which makes things even more complicated government's direct involvement in implementing price caps conditions on starting international flights and the most damaging high taxes on air fuel then the indirect involvement by running a state owned airline in the form of air india which has been running in losses for the past two decades by the end of it all the whole industry works on 3 to 4 percentage profit margin which means one or two wrong decisions can lead to ruin take the case of go first which wasn't able to operate half of their fleet because of faulty engines and had to shut down or jet airways which shut down in 2019 but their trouble began in 2006 when they bought air sahara for 500 million dollars and also they did not adapt themselves to the low cost model on the flip side you have indigo which has been growing strongly year over year and the main reason for that has been their sharp focus towards keeping their costs as low as possible which means applying strategies where they buy only one kind of plane or frequently upgrading to newer and newer models to get more and more fuel efficiency airline industry is one of the most important sector in any country's economy it has direct impact over various sectors such as tourism restaurants to name a few and overall is a marker of how the economy is performing india has one of the fastest growing airline industry in the world but the airlines powering it are suffering so sooner or later steps have to be taken to improve the conditions of the airlines i hope this video has helped you understand why running an airline is so difficult and even more so in india if you like the video then be sure to like and subscribe and i would see you across in the next one